Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. August 18th, Friday, Matthew chapter 15, verses 10 through 20. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain this parable to us. Then he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sore? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands do not defile. Amen. The scriptures are full of instances where Jesus clashed publicly with the Pharisees. The Pharisees were an important cohort of the Jewish religio-legal system who emphasized the importance of rules and rituals concerning purification and defilement of for all Jews, not just the priests. As important as the law was in guiding the nation, Jesus said that the Pharisees had become rigid and legalistic. Saul was a prominent example of this Pharisaic passion. He was a genuine circumcised Hebrew of Hebrews, but was concerned more with the outward appearance than the spirit of the law. Jesus criticized Pharisees like Saul for ignoring spiritual matters of justice and mercy. Today's biblical text is one of those instances where Jesus has called the crowds to teach against and repudiate rigidity regarding non-kosher food. The disciples informed him about how offended the Pharisees were by his teachings. Jesus says, It is not what goes into the mouth, the food we eat, but what comes out of the mouth, what we believe and say, that can make us unfit to participate in communal worship. Jesus shifts the focus to what comes from the heart. Today, there are many Christians who are obsessed with matters of rigid religion. We are experts of our church's polity and are ready to defend that with our lives. Yet, we are less concerned with discipleship and spiritual formation. Jesus calls us to deepen our faith and spirituality beyond the regalism that has brought much division and hurt to our churches. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, fill our heart and mouth with life-giving words. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.